welcome back YouTube universe. The Marvels is a fun and fast-paced adventure that brings together three of the most powerful and charismatic heroes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Carol Danvers, Monica Rambeau, and Kamala Khan. Let's dive into a review of this fast-paced adventure, but spoiler, a blue super genius from the X-Men makes an appearance. The film follows the trio as they try to stop a Kree rebel leader, Darben, from using a mysterious bangle to unleash chaos across the galaxy. Along the way, they also have to deal with the strange phenomenon of swapping places with each other every time they use their powers. The film is directed by Nia DaCosta, who brings a fresh and energetic vision to the MCU. DaCosta balances the action, humor, and emotion of the story, and showcases the distinct personalities and abilities of the three leads. The film is also the shortest in the MCU, running at only 105 minutes, which makes it a breezy and enjoyable watch. The best part of the film is the chemistry between Larson, Paris, and Villani, who play off each other brilliantly. Larson is confident and witty as Carol, who has to face the consequences of her actions in the previous Captain Marvel film. Tayona Paris is warm and wise as Monica, who has to cope with her new powers and her complicated relationship with her aunt. Iman Villani is adorable and enthusiastic as Kamala, who is a huge fan of Captain Marvel and gets to live out her dream of being a superhero. The three actors have a lot of fun with their roles, and their interactions are hilarious and heartfelt. The film also features some familiar faces from the MCU, such as Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury, and Kelsey Grammer makes an awesome appearance as Hank Beast McCoy from the X-Men films. He pops up in a short post credit scene. I've been an X-Men superfan since I was a kid, so seeing Beast in an MCU film was ultra cool. The film also sets up some interesting connections and implications for the future of the MCU. The film is entertaining, but far from perfect. The plot is rather thin and predictable, and the villain isn't very memorable or menacing. The film also suffers from some tonal shifts and inconsistent visual effects, especially in the final act. The film tries to cram in too many references and callbacks to other MCU properties, which can be confusing and distracting for casual viewers. Overall, The Marvels is a solid and entertaining entry in the MCU, and showcases the talents of DaCosta and the three leads. The film is a popcorn-worthy celebration of the diversity and strength of the Marvels, and a testament to the power of teamwork and friendship. The film is worth watching for the fans of the MCU, and for anyone who enjoys a good superhero flick. 